I'm on a C panel, as you can see. I'm going to scroll down until I get to soft ticulus. Notice uh, I get notified here, even though I can go into the app, which is right here. Since uh, it's time to upgrade, I get an email notification, but I also get alerted right here in my cPanel. So let me go into, there are one update. Actually, there is one update, but there could be more than one if you've got a WordPress or other sites on your cPanel. Click on it, and then I'm taken to the Softiculus area. Notice this is it. If you need help, please feel free to contact Softiculus for help. They'll be very quick to provide you with support. So there it is. That's the question mark for support. Notice this is the version. Right now it's Moodle 4.0.2. Going to upgrade it to 3.3. It's really exciting. Every time I upgrade, I feel really, really empowered. And I think that's what's great about being the admin of a Moodle site. So try it. It's worth it in so many ways. All right, so here goes with the upgrade. Going to simply click on it. There we are. Notice upgrade to version 4.0.3. So you get that information. Now it's a good idea to create a backup. Always good to create a backup. So after you create a backup, you can simply upgrade or the system will upgrade for you. So let me do the upgrade over here by clicking on. It's really fast, especially if your site is small, and this one is fairly small. And then you just wait for the 100 to come up. Notice um, if you upgrade, it's going to take longer depending on the size of your Moodle. In this case, as I said, it isn't that large and not that active for that matter. All right, so we're waiting for the notice that was really fast. And here is a pop up just to let you that you're a few steps away. All right, so that's that's encouraging, right? I don't like that. All right, so we're going to go into the admin. Notice the admin is right here. And this is where you should be going in, not into the site. Well, you could, but then you'd have to go through a few steps. So let's just go straight into the admin. Now I'm not in as far as I remember. The site's not open, but that's okay. I'll be able to see this because I've come from the admin. But so will other people. So you might want to put your site under maintenance to avoid anyone tampering with it. I mean, they won't be able to go far, but nonetheless, you don't want that done. So you might want to put your site on your maintenance. Next, uh, we're going to continue. There are a few steps to continue. Notice there is an upgrade here that needs to be done to be upgraded before the rest of the Moodle site is upgraded. So there is a plugin here that needs my attention. So do that first. It's a, an enrollment method plugin that I don't really use, but Nonetheless, whatever is there should be upgraded first and then go on with the main installation. Notice next we've got the system upgrade as well as the enroll. So let's continue and go on to the next step. And this is where you log in. So I'm going to log in with my Google account. There we are. If you're interested in how to get these services up, for your login, which is actually creating an account. This is how it's done. Let's just uh, see if uh, everything was done. It's really, really fast, isn't it? So we're going to scroll down and there it is. That's how fast it is. So why not? Why not use Softiculus? It'll save you so much time. And if you get stuck or anything, just contact support at Softiculus and they'll help. They will help. There's no need to contact anyone else, just Softiculus, because you're using their system. 
Thank you for watching. Feel free to add questions in the comment box below and get soft ticklers and start enjoying the process of moodling without the hassles of getting lots of errors.